Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is Gabe with Indigo Software, genuine Microsoft software for less. In today's video, we're gonna help you guys to troubleshoot slow file transfer speeds inside of Windows 11. If you're having to fight with slow file transfer speeds, that can definitely mess up your productivity and it can be quite a headache. Hopefully by the end of this video, if you're experiencing these issues, it will all be resolved. Before we get started with that, if you're interested in purchasing Microsoft Office, Windows 10, Windows 11, Windows Server, remote desktop licenses, or a wide variety of other Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll put links down below. So without further ado, let's jump in. All right, guys, so the very first thing to consider is the connection type. In my hand is a USB type A to a USB type C cable. And the important factor with this cable here is whether we're on USB 2.0 or USB 3.0 or 3.2 or something like that. USB 3.0 is going to be the modern standard for data transfer over USB. And a USB 2 is gonna be much slower and can present some challenges there. Now here is one key indicator that you have USB 3 and not USB 2. This is valid for both your computer and the cables. Now I'm not sure how well you can see this cable. Let me bring it into the light maybe, but it has a little blue tab inside of it. So part of the connector has again that blue color. That's telling us that it's USB 3.0. The bottom line here is to make sure that you're using a high quality cable, making sure you're using one of the best ports available on your computer and either using a USB or even a SATA cable would be recommended. The next thing we're gonna recommend is to check for disk fragmentation. Windows makes this very easy to check for. So let's hop onto the computer. I'll hit Windows key and S to search. And here we can just type defragment and optimize drives. That's exactly what we're looking for. I'll press enter on that. As we can see, we already have scheduled optimization turned on meaning that this is happening on a regular basis and it was last analyzed today. That being said, I don't have to do anything here, but if that's not the case for you, feel free to analyze and or optimize the drives and that's gonna ensure the best performance. Okay, next up, we're gonna go to the control panel. So type that in and we're gonna click hardware and sound. From here, click into power options. I currently have the high performance option selected and if you don't already, I would first select that and then we're gonna click change plan setting and click change advanced power setting. It's gonna pull up this little power options window here. Click under USB settings and under USB selective suspend settings. And we're gonna change this to disabled. Hit apply and hit okay. Next up, we're gonna head into device manager. And if you haven't done this already, we're just gonna make sure that we have the latest driver installed under the universal serial bus controllers. I'll click down and we'll click the USB Intel, uh, USB 3.2 host controller. We can update the driver for that and we'll search automatically. We're gonna make sure that's the same on the various different options here that have drivers. So I'm checking again, my universal serial bus or USB controllers. We can update the driver for everything in here and just make sure that it's all good to go. We can also update the driver for our disk drives as well. Again, we're seeing that the best drivers are already installed, which is good. But if you don't see that, go ahead and run the update for the driver. And the last thing that could always help with issues like this is going for a Windows update, which we can see we need here in the menu. I can also access that from here, Windows update, and I'll click install all. I'm gonna do this after I end the video here, but I will go ahead and install this update. And if you're having issues with file transfers, this can sometimes help that. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. If you have any questions about slow transfer speeds or how to troubleshoot that, Drop those in the comments below and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. Again, if you're interested in purchasing genuine Microsoft software at a great price, check out Indigo Software. We'll put those links down below. As the channel grows, we're constantly looking for new video topic ideas. With that said, we would love to know what video would you like to see? Any ideas are welcome in the comments and most of our video viewer requests make it onto the channel. Lastly, a like and subscribe would be greatly appreciated as it helps to support the channel. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Thank you.